still checking in the place, still cold. Moving in the way, no place, no snow. Straight chilling with my niggas that shiver. Think about stuff. Look, I got a new fucking chair. Oh my god, I got a new chair. This shit looks actually fucking awesome. It also has wheels and it's really fucking comfortable. I actually did use this chair in the Q&A with Mason and shit, but we just never really got to the point with that. It even has the freaking air thingy, my bobber. Look how high I am. Dude, I can come down and look like a boss. Just check it, watch this. Could you imagine just like... Good evening. No, okay guys, let's get into the video. But straight up, what is going on guys? It's Bato here and in today's video, guys, I'm gonna be telling you guys about guys, 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 guys. Dude, I sound like a fucking adapt. I keep stuttering with the word guys. No, seriously, no harm done to you, adapt. I'm just messing, bro. I love you. No, but seriously, what is going on, Bato's Army? Today, I have a video or a story to tell you about what happened this weekend. Now, before we jump into that, if you can smack that like button, that would be fucking awesome. And subscribe if you're new because I upload daily videos. Plus, I don't think you're gonna really wanna miss any of my videos because, you know, I'm getting a little more creative and a little more fun. And why am I looking so close into to the camera i need to back up one more thing before we start if you guys could please check out mr boss kittens i will leave his channel link in the description below we posted a try not to laugh challenge it's fucking hilarious guys it is actually really funny and i hope you guys do enjoy that also i hope you guys did enjoy the q a me and him did but anyways let's jump into the story like i said six thousand times this weekend on about march 13th sunday i went to my first concert ever and boy was i hyped my legs are fucking tired though. I mean, it's too, it's Monday now, but it's just, I'm making this video a little late. Also, I want to apologize for not posting yesterday, guys. I got home really late from the concert and I was just too tired to make a video, but you guys are going to get the video now. But if you don't know who Futuristic is, I went to his concert. He came to Tucson, Arizona, and he gave us so much hype. He said that it was one of his best concerts, actually. Even though we had a small amount of people, he went to bigger concerts and he did not have as much energy. But then again, he probably could be saying that just because, you know, we're his audience and we support him. But I'm going to start off from the beginning. So if you guys know Mason, like I just suggested, he actually bought my, t his mom bought me my ticket and the meet and greet and she took me and I really had no idea like I really wanted to go but I didn't have the money and I didn't have a ride home so she actually bought it and then my mom made it we made a deal with my mom so she took me home so we went to the concert guys it was a really really freaking long line it was a really long line like not not, not too long because we got there about an hour earlier than you're supposed to but it was still a fucking long ass line so we went to the line you know we were chilling we were talking futuristic comes pulling up with his van you know how they honking like to do every time there's a concert you know I mean I've kind of been to meet and greets before. That's how I met Machine Gun Kelly. And uh, I almost went to a Machine Gun Kelly concert as well. That's why I know. But I didn't actually end up going because he dissed my sister. And that's when we did. So Futuristic came around the corner with his van. Popped open the door. And, you know, he was just like, Futuristic. You know, beep, 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 beep. And, you know, no one gave any attention. I don't even think people knew it was Futuristic. So I was like, oh, shit, that's Futuristic. That's tight. And I was thinking, shit, I walked back. I was like, dude, he's probably going to think this concert's going to be lame. Boy, was he wrong. Now, guys, this concert was fucking insane. So I'm probably gonna say insane a thousand fucking times call me scarce Ooh, bars right so we finally got into the concert and we had our meet and greet we didn't have the tickets we had to pay for them at the door so when the girl came up she was like you know what did you like he mason goes you know two meet and greet tickets please and she goes i'm sorry you can't you have to buy those online you can't buy those at the door dude straight up me and mason heartbroken dude we were just like we can't meet futuristic like that was like the whole point also was to meet Futuristic, our fucking like idol, basically. Well, his, I, I don't know. No, he likes Hobson. He likes Hobson. I like Hobson too. I'm getting into Futuristic big time. So we were heartbroken. You know, we just bought normal tickets and went inside and then we went to the bathroom, came back, saw merch in there or merchandise. Uh, we say merch. But uh, we went up to it, we bought some merch. I actually bought a WTF shirt. If you guys want to know, it looks like I'll put it on the screen. I'm not wearing it because it's obviously dirty. So actually, we were talking to the guy who sold the merch and he was talking about something like, you know, bro, like you buying, so why are you getting a perm? We're like, dude, we're big fans. He's like, you're going to meet him at the meet and greet? And uh, Mason was like, no, dude, like we can't. We can't. I thought we had to buy it at the, we thought we could buy it at the door, but they wouldn't let us. And he's like, no, bro, I got you, man. You can actually buy it right here, actually, 30 bucks per person. And Boy, he hooked us up. So we had like 60 bucks left, actually. So we got our meet and greet. We got a meet and greet. And they were supposed to get a band, but he didn't have a band. So he just wrote like FMG, meaning futuristic meet and greet. And then that's when shit went down. We went to the best fucking place ever, okay? We went up like two steps. So we were higher than everyone. It was like two steps, like pop, pop. We were higher than everyone. So we got to see everything. We got to see all the pre-shows. Me and Mason got shout out the most. And I was going fucking crazy. I was like a 13-year-old squirting at a Justin Bieber concert. No offense. But I was going fucking hype because, you know, it's, it was my first concert ever. You can't judge me. So shit was going down. And I ended up seeing my homie there. His name's Jordan. He's a... 
handicap, I guess. That's the nicest way. He's like in a wheelchair, and he, I hang out with him all the time. Like I hang out with him and my friend Sergio. And I saw Jordan there. I actually saw him. I'm gonna, I'm saying Jordan too. You're not supposed to name names, but Jordan, you're the real MVP, bro. I saw Jordan, and he was sitting in the back. So they told him, you know, bro, like you're in the back, you're in a wheelchair. Dude, let's let's take you backstage. They took him backstage, and he got front row backstage. Got to meet everyone. And I was like just looking around. I was like, you no, know, looking. I saw backstage. And I was like, I see a wheelchair. And I opened the curtain. And I was like, oh shit, that's Jordan. And I called Jordan. I was like, bro, how'd you get back there? And he's like, bro. And then you know he told me the story. I just told you guys. And I was like, bro, can you get us back there? And he told the security guard. The security guard let me and Mason back there. So it was me, Mason, and Jordan. And we were at the concert. Hype, dude. We had so much room. We were just jumping around. We were doing so much shit. I actually got it on my phone. And I want to put it in the video, but I think it might be copyright. I'm not really too sure about that shit. But I will post a video about how close. I will post how we got video. This is how close we got, guys. I can put this because it doesn't really have music. But just in case it does, I mean, I'm not going to put too long of it. But this is how close we were, guys. So here. Yeah, guys, we were pretty fucking close. We were really close to Futuristic and Devon Terrell. So concert was hype. He was did so many songs. Me and Mason knew so many words. Mason knew way more words than I did because you know he knew about Futuristic longer than me. Hype, guys, hype. Futuristic. That concert was lit, dude. I shit you guys not, okay? So uh, me and Mason were actually before we got backstage. These two girls just cut us off, dude. And they were grinding, dude. And I was just backing up. Me and Mason were backing up because we were scared. They were fucking thoughts. Me and Mason don't fuck with thoughts. He's a fuck boy, but we don't fuck with thoughts. I have my own girlfriend. He don't fuck with us. He's working on a girl. I'm not gonna lie. So we backed up. We got back. And then I feel this hand just grab my fucking ass. You grab the shit out of my ass. And I told my mom. I'll tell my mom the story too. And I was like, dude, like these girls just kept grabbing my ass. Because I didn't see behind me. And Mason's like, dude, I saw behind you. They were guys. I had fucking guys grab my ass like seven times. Dude, just. Mm, mm, mm. Dude, my fucking ass cheek is sore. So shit went crazy fucking amazing concert and then we went to the meet and greet we saw futuristic we actually ended up here i'm gonna show you guys what we got we actually got two albums for free we got the futuristic the greatest right here he signed it right here and check it out oh and then devon terrell back here and uh devon actually i told him to make it out to it's bato because you know I got it's bato, so. so they made it out to it's bato he put an s though devon terrell put an s because he didn't really get a good look at the name but futuristic signed this one too and uh futuristic devon terrell and if you guys look really closely it's a z so guys, I got albums, I got a poster, and I got a shirt, and the shirt was autographed. The poster wasn't, because I got it the last second, I, didn't, I feel like I was taking too much time. But yeah, guys, that's what fucking happened. Like, the concert was fucking lit, guys. Like, I wanted to show you guys what I got, and the recording, and everything, but it just we couldn't, because I think there's a YouTube claim or something like that. And I would give you guys so much more information, but... That's some shit you can't be leaked. Like, there was a lot of shit that fucking happened. But anyways, that is all for today's video. I really hope you guys did enjoy. Follow me on social media. It should be on the screen above. But I hope you guys have a wonderful day. I love you guys so much. And Bato is out. Peace.